Guys, right now this thing is stuck open, so the whole time or every second in the engine running, air is is blown through here. So since this one it stays open and it is a lot of money to buy one, the cheapest one I can find one right up it is ninety dollar. And if you go to a Nissan dealer, it will cost me um, between one sixty and. $230 and I'm not going to pay that for this little sensor here until I do my best to fix it up so let's see if you can fix this one I'll be back coming back to the uh, porch valve over here or the ceiling oil right here uh, the uh, vacuum it's inside it sucks it in there so uh, the air it's coming from the uh event canister to here like this but all the time this should be closed in here soon as the uh, computer or the other sensor in there like when it builds up pressure on the outside it will uh, send signal to here and then we'll activate this one that means it will open and then the air will continue to go back inside the engine it is the uh, p1444 and it's a perch volume control valve so and that is easy to check uh control valve when it got stuck open or got st stuck closed one of those reasons and as you can see the uh, perch volume valve sensor i mean sensor right here as you can see over there, it's full. It's stuffed up. Let's see if it comes out. See the stuff? It's coming out. That means the whole line is like that. So I'm going to take the whole thing out and see what's up. Okay, let me do this. That way you understand the process. Uh, I got the scenes out right now. As you can see, I got my vacuum hooked up on this one, not on this one, because the air is going this way. So that means if I activate a vacuum or um, pressure to this one, this needle over here should go up. Let's see if it goes up. As you can see, nothing. If I put my finger over here, it goes up. It should be like that. And then when you activate the sensor, it goes down. So what I'm looking to do over here, I'm going to blow some air through here or here and hopefully there is something stuck in there it will come out and then it will close back again and hose vacuum as well but if not there is uh over here i'm going to push this back together or squeeze it back together and same thing here this one right here and right here same thing on this side right here as well after that this plastic thing it should come up this side and i should be able to see what's inside this piece over here after blowing it through here blowing it air here and, and, and there and here whatever you know it nothing happens so uh now i'm going to open this one like i told you so i'm going to put on time lap that way you can see what i'm going to do just in case i fix it that way you can fix yours as well how it look like inside there is a uh, o-ring right here and then on the top right here there is a uh, spring this little tiny spring goes in that hole right there and uh, over here there is this little halfway metal halfway rubber over here this spring goes inside here like that so and this one it goes up right there so if that spring loses uh, tension, it will leak air as well. And then over here at the end right here, it's like rubber kind of, so it's like a seal. 
And uh, at this moment, I try to, as you can see my battery over there, I try to apply some uh, power into here because what I'm expecting to see in here, it is that um, thing inside in that thing, thing in there should become up and down over there. I, don't, I know you can see it. It's hard to see down there. I uh, know it's not going to be able to see, able to see it. But it's down there. So I was hoping this will open right here so I can see it, but it didn't happen. So what's going on over here is this thing has got, because this connector over here, the power, I guess it runs through down here. And then it's that thing and it goes up and down right here. And so right now I try to apply some power and that stuff in there, it, it will not go down or up. So it doesn't move at all. But I can see uh, beside that one there is some of those uh, black uh, sand kind of looking like that one I showed you in the preview. So I'm going to try to take some of those out with some kind of a T-pin right here. Maybe I can get down to here and like uh, take them out and should be loose that one go up and down again. Now I cleaned the inside over here. This is the stuff that come out of there. And that's my cleaner right there. That's the tweezer for a uh, cleaner. So I'm going to try to put it back together and see if it works. Hey guys, I'm back. It is halfway back together over here. Not completely done. So I need to do my test before I put it back together completely. So right now, as you see my vacuum over there. And then if I put the, uh, some pressure over here. Right there. It's slowly leaking right now as you can see it's going to the 15 it's because i am just holding with my hand right here and if i let it go maybe it will lose more uh it's, it's going a little bit right there as you can see so the reason i have not uh, put this one back together right here yet because i want to change that little o-ring uh right here inside here and hopefully that will help some and then if I apply some power and look what happened. See that? Let's do it again. That way you can see it better. Here you go. Okay guys, our porch valve, it is back together. Look at that. It's holding the uh, pressure. Let's put that to five. Let's see. It's staying. It may leak in just a very little, but it's not visible. It is moving a little bit. But it's better than that. Like then up and down up and down you know like that but now see it's staying right there okay now let's install this all right here's the cord it pulled up again the uh p1444 is not here anymore the only thing left right now is the uh p0300 that's the uh random multiple cylinder misfire so what could it be this problem